Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Valley. Again, another mnemonic video for you, another tricks video for you to understand the process of urine formation and involvement of nephron in urine formation in human. And you will understand this within 10 minutes. So this 10 minute video will clear all your doubts. We will have this mnemonic for you. So obviously, let me write this is all about urine formation. Remember, we are not going to talk about the ornithine cycle or any way that converts the any other process that converts ammonia into urea. We are going to talk about the concentration of that urea in the form of urine and how the urine is concentrated, how it is made in the cell, in the, uh, in the uh, nephron and how it is excreted out. That's what we are going to study today. Okay. So, uh, what we have here for you to understand is this simple mnemonic. Although the mnemonic is gibberish, there is no meaning. This mnemonic for you, I, uh, I was working on this mnemonic, but there is no simple one uh, that is meaningful. This mnemonic is not meaningful. It's kind of a gibberish, but I believe it will help you to understand uh, what we want to achieve. And here we have, uh, we have this far co sec. Example, now the third part is GP2, then D2C, direct to consumer. This is the only thing that you can relate to. The rest of the things uh, are not that relatable. They are gibberish in nature. I understand, I believe. But still, uh, if you remember this Farcosec, this particular mnemonic, Farcosec, and an example of that Farcosec, let's say it's a gibberish word. Uh, we have GP2, a glycoprotein type 2. Just remember this. And then D2C is direct to consumer kind of business. So this is what you can remember. Still relate and remember. Farco said then example GP2, D2C. If you remember that, you can uh, understand the steps of urine formation um, by the nephron and the portion and the segment of nephron involved in the process of the urine formation. Alright, so now we are going to take this mnemonic, we will break it down first this segment, then the second segment. So starting with F, starting with F, then we have A, okay, F, A, then R, FAR, C, O together, then S, then E, then C, okay. So actually this is, this is X at the end nothing else so it ends like this farcosec okay this is how you can remember and let me take a different color the uh, let's say the red one to explain f far for filtration filtration the very first step and remember these steps are sequential okay sequentially arranged f for filtration a for absorption absorption of important compound like glucose amino acid absorption are needed then R for reabsorption. Reabsorption is done basically reabsorption of water is needed. Then CO concentration. Concentration and urine formation. The concentration of the urine. S for secretion. Many other components like creatinine from blood need to be secreted into the urine. And also some drugs and components need to be secreted to the urine that is secretion and x is excretion that ends the process so here we have all laid together for you filtration absorption reabsorption of water concentration secretion excretion steps of urine formation involving nephron now this is not done it at this moment you understand the steps now what you need to understand is the parts of the nephron involved in this process what are the parts and how they are involved in this process let's see this so we have this gp2 d2c this particular so starting with g means glomerulus right glomerulus so the filtration is done in glomerulus known as glomerular filtration then what we have p P stands for proximal convoluted tubule. So, absorption takes place in proximal convoluted tubule. Then we have reabsorption and we have two written. Two means it has both proximal convoluted tubule as well as distal convoluted tubule involved in it. So, both PCT and DCT are involved with it. Then we have concentration that is D. D for involved in distal convoluted tubule. 
DCT. And then we have secretion. Secretion is again involved D2C2 means again both PCT and DCT both will be involved PCT DCT both are involved in secretion. The last one excretion and that will end the process the excretion part again C C means what collecting duct collecting duct that concludes the understanding that we need regarding the urine formation and involvement of nephron in it. So filtration done in glomerulus, glomerular filtration, absorption in proximal convoluted tubule, reabsorption of water in proximal convoluted tubule, distal convoluted tubule and reabsorption not only reabsorption of water for other nutrients as well, concentration in distal convoluted tubule, secretion in PCT and DCT, excretion by the collecting duct, collecting all the urine together, the concentrated form of urine then it will be released out. And the reabsorption, particularly for the water reabsorption, the role of antidiuretic hormone is very important. Okay, so you got this idea of urine formation very clearly. I believe you have a clear idea, you can remember this for long duration with Farsec, uh, Farcosec, example GP2, DTC, this is the particular mnemonic. Although you have like uh, probably uh, I've uploaded almost 30 35 mnemonics out there some of them are much more meaningful you can remember that watch the whole series it will be immensely helpful for you for your preparation for CSANET if you wish to join our coaching you can join that the details are there in the description as well as in this screen so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you bye